Good morning, everybody. It's Into the Stars, and I came across some of the most amazing passages in the Book of Enoch. Search these passages through the words that you see on your screen to find them, to begin your search for truth. But I'll let these words of righteousness speak for themselves. And to certain men of a generation, shall the paths of violence and of death be revealed. And they shall hold themselves afar from them and shall not follow them. And now I say unto you, the righteous, walk not in the paths of wickedness, nor in the paths of death, and draw not nigh to them, lest ye be destroyed. But seek and choose for yourselves righteousness and an elect life and walk in the paths of peace and ye shall live and prosper and hold fast to my words in the thoughts of your hearts and suffer them not to be effaced from your hearts for I know that sinners will tempt men to evilly entreat wisdom so that no place may be found for her and no manner of temptation may minish Woe to those who build unrighteousness and oppression and lay deceit as a foundation, for they shall be suddenly overthrown, and they shall have no peace. Woe to those who build their houses with sin, for from all their foundations shall they be overthrown, and by the sword shall they fall. And those who acquire gold and silver in judgment suddenly shall perish. Woe to you, ye rich, for ye have trusted in your riches, and from your riches shall ye depart, because ye have not remembered the Most High in the days of your riches. Ye have committed blasphemy and unrighteousness, and become ready for the day of slaughter, and the day of darkness, and the day of the great judgment. Thus I speak and declare unto you, He who hath created you will overthrow you, and for your fall there shall be no compassion, and your Creator will rejoice at your destruction. And your righteous ones in those days shall be a reproach to the sinners and the godless. In those days the angels shall descend into the secret places, and gather together into one place all those who brought down sin, and the Most High will arise on that day of judgment to execrate great judgment amongst the sinners. And over all the righteous and holy he will appoint guardians from amongst the holy angels to guard them as the apple of an eye until he makes an end of all wickedness and all sin. And though the righteous sleep a long sleep, they have not to fear. And the children of earth shall rise and see the wise in security and shall understand all the words of this book and recognize that their riches shall not be able to save them in the overthrow of their sins. When the o'er frost and snow with their chilliness and all the snowstorms with their plagues fall upon you, in those days ye shall not be able to stand before them. And yet, when ye die, the sinners speak over you. As we die, so die the righteous. And what benefit do they reap for their deeds? Behold, even as we, so do they die in grief and darkness? And what have they more than we? From henceforth we are equal. And what will they receive, and what will they see forever? Behold, they too have died, and henceforth for ever shall they see no light. I tell you, ye sinners, ye are content to eat and drink, and rob and sin, and strip men naked, and acquire wealth, and see good days. Have ye seen the righteous, how their end falls out, that no manner of violence is found in them till their death? Now therefore I swear to you, 
the righteous by the glory of the great and honored and mighty one in dominion and by his greatness I swear to you I know a mystery and I have read the heavenly tablets and I have seen the holy books and I have found written therein and inscribed regarding them that all goodness and joy and glory are prepared for them and written down for the spirits of those who have died in righteousness and that manifold good shall be given to you in recompense for your labors and that your lot is abundantly beyond the lot of the living and the spirits of you who have died in righteousness shall live and rejoice and their spirits shall not perish nor their memorial from before the face of the great one until all the generations of the world wherefore no longer fear their contumely then I know another mystery that books will be given to the righteous and the wise to become a cause of joy and uprightness and much wisdom and to them shall the books be given and they shall believe in them and rejoice over them and then shall all the righteous who have learned therefrom all the paths of uprightness be recompensed take care and be safe